Marco Hightech, turning science into business. Throughout its 10 years of existence, CoHiTech earned its reputation of a world-class technology transfer program. The ever-growing number of participants and the variety of projects presented make it not only a challenge, but an incredible opportunity for all that embrace it. This year was a groundbreaking year in many aspects for CoHiTech. This is a very dynamic program. It changes year to year, and every year it's evaluated. We spend hours talking about what to change next year. I think we've been able to do it better than last year, and so on and so on. I think that the major difference this year is because of the uh, interviews during the selection process, we have uh, all the teams perfectly aligned with the, with the program course. Of all the places that we have programs around the world, this is the one that has been the most successful, the most dynamic, and the one that has been the most innovative when it comes to technology commercialization. In 2013, CoHiTech gathered projects from many areas, ranging from healthcare, pharmaceuticals, engineering, chemical products, energy resources, information technology, and data management. On average, the teams uh, are better prepared and uh, have uh, stronger, more interesting business ideas than I think ever before. The projects are more different this year among themselves. They aren't all biotech. I think that brings them a level of comfort about talking it with different people. Kohai Tech is designed to promote an open exchange of experiences, not just between members of each team, but also between all the participants of the program. The classroom sessions and weekly mentoring by executives allow for this constant interaction to grow and to become an essential part of the program's success. We have been collaborating with people from around the world, like uh, uh, China and India, with their very different views. So different approaches to the business, different ways of thinking, different ways of seeing reality, different experience. In one of the, the, these sessions we had over 100 ideas uh, posted on the wall and we've, been, we've managed to, to narrow that uh, onto two or three products. It was very important and opened my mind to new realities in technology and in other ways to see how we can put in the market a new product or a new technology. Not only in terms of process and in terms of procedures, but also in terms of technologies, we are trying to, to find some synergies with other groups. When an idea first arrives into CoHiTech, there is a lot to be done. The research might be mature and the concept proved to be solid, but how can it approach the market and be successful? It's not an easy task and it can surely go wrong if you don't know the right tools to use. It's very important for all the researchers that are at the moment uh, doing research in the university to have an experience like OITEC. So it's really designed for people that come from science, that have good ideas, and it gives us all the tools that we don't have. It explains us everything that we don't know. Sometimes we underestimate the value of our technology and the value of our products. For sure, this is the right place to learn it. The first step is to find the right approach to the technology in terms of understanding how would it function as a product or service. We were focusing on the material. We didn't focus on uh, how much should, should it cost, who would buy this. The definition of the product of, or of the service was actually the most challenging part. The issues are always the same. The issues are always to first understand what the hell that individual is bringing to the table. I am a researcher and it's not always easy to explain our value proposition in non-technical non terms and that has been our major difficulty, I would say. It's exactly to speak with people that don't know nothing about, for instance, chemical reaction engineering and things like that. A lot of phone calls, a lot of Skype meetings, a lot of emails, a lot of Facebooking, tweeting. I was not used to pick the phone and ask, do you really need what I have to offer you? 
uh, these hard questions uh, Quietec is asking us, and this is a good practice. It's challenging, but it's very fruitful. Scientists ask questions and try different ways to answer them. They know how to apply their methodology, but sometimes fail to understand the dynamics of the business world. Actually, one of the, the, the results of Quietech that we are, were able to get is it's easier to do research than to, to produce a, a credible business plan. Mainly, uh, where to put it to an investor, to put the right date in the right place. Business, numbers, um, maths, market, those, those kind of concepts for me are difficult. And people from the, uh, the marketing and management side will tell you, yeah, a good idea or no, <laughs> go back to the garage and think on another one. They are completely out of their comfort zone, so this is very tough for them. It's a completely different way of approach reality. Major challenge for us technologists was to kind of try to get the same language as the MBA students to try to, to cope with them in, 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 in leading the projects. We are researchers but we are willing to go a step forward and go to the business of the market. Co-Hitech wasn't created to be simple or easy. Building a new set of skills and ways of perceiving reality can be troublesome to say the least. It's a very intense program. We have been working a lot, but it has, it has been very productive. We are busy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing we say, it is it's very hard. Be ready to spend a lot of time, take a lot of no's, and deal with frustration. It was an effort physically, but we were really motivated. We wanted to do what Coatec was asking for us each week, but sometimes we had our own work and we had to choose what are we going to do. Coatec explains real life business examples and gives a new insight to the multidisciplinary team. The structure of Cohitech provides new knowledge and valuable tools to create a new identity for the project, with increased market potential and a clearer view of the risks ahead. The most exciting part of Cohitech is to work in the real world. It really opened our minds into the business world. We are being fueled with all the know-how that we had to learn and we didn't know, and immediately we have to put it into practice. We had to learn the financial things, uh, revenues and the costs, the fixed costs, the other type of costs. How to develop uh, a business, how the business is constructed and how we can work around it. In the intermediate session, the participants of Cohitech have to present their projects before a live audience. Considered as a work in progress presentation, it is nonetheless important to ascertain the quality of the pitch and overall confidence of the teams. We have seen our weak points and this is priceless, this is very good. I think we, we notice our, our improvement regarding our uh, ability to, to speak about our technology. We are working hard on, on having reliable data to show in the final presentation. Rehearse, prepare, Rehearse again, and when you think you're ready, train a little bit more because you're not there yet. With Cohitech's closing session, it's time for the final presentations. Teams will deliver their pitch, one that has been rearranged, practiced, and polished over and over again. There's nothing like going through the real thing to experience the. Uh, the tension and the pressure of speaking in public into an audience, saying very a lot in very little time. Hopefully, Cohitech will provide the conditions for startups to gain traction and flourish on a global scale. We want to try to make sure that we offer a place where people can come and find all the necessary parts to get started in an entrepreneurial venture. You need to understand that Cohitech is just the first four months of a three-year to four year period. And we are already thinking of what comes next would be to really go to the market and launch the company because we believe we have something valuable. Our expectation is to come alive with this company and well, hopefully make a lot of money for everyone. Yes, this can provide you economic freedom on the long term 
but on the short and medium term, it requires work, a lot of work and knowledge, how to do things, how to be comfortable doing those things. I'd like to thank the teams for participating. We hope next year to be as successful as we think we have been this year. Co-Hitech, turning science into business.